Thank you, Mr. Chair. Professor Turley, Hunter Biden's a private citizen, not a federal official, right? Yes, sir. A special counsel investigating Hunter Biden recently indicted him for various illegal acts. I'm sure you're aware of this indictment. I have it in my hands. But nowhere in Hunter Biden, Biden, Biden's indictment is there any allegation of Joe Biden having committed any wrongdoing, right? That's correct, sir. Not a parking ticket, not a moving violation, not a library fine, not a high crime or misdemeanor. In fact, on page 19 of your witness statement that you submitted, you said, quote, the current record does not establish any crime, let alone an impeachable offense. Now let's further explore what's been established about Joe Biden. The Hill reports Senator Marco Rubio, quote, noted that House Republicans are discussing a special impeachment inquiry to obtain evidence of criminal behavior that they have not been able to dig up through the House Oversight Committee. And Rubio warned that setting up a special impeachment council without strong evidence of a crime could trivialize the process. Now, sir, Senator Rubio is a Republican, right? Yes, sir. Let's talk about whether this evidence that Mr. Rubio was referring to exists. Our colleague Ken Buck, a senior member of the Judiciary Committee, said the following regarding evidence linking President Biden to an alleged crime. Quote, that doesn't exist right now. Now, sir, Ken Buck is a Republican, correct? Yes, sir. Senator Mitt Romney of Utah said, quote, there hasn't been any allegation yet, any conduct, which reaches the constitutional standard for impeachment. And, and sir, Mitt Romney is a Republican as well, correct? Yes, sir. Now, let me turn to another topic here. Ms. O'Connor, here I have a poster of an entry from your professional LinkedIn account. There's your picture. And it says, Law Office of Eileen J. O'Connor. We printed here what you posted roughly one week ago. It says, quote, the Biden administration is promoting and enabling the invasion. That's what your post says, right? Yes, it does. And it further goes on to say, if this doesn't stop quickly, then the entire USA will be invaded with millions of military-aged men from many different countries who are ready to cause total havoc while getting paid $2,200 a month in welfare to do so. Did I write that? You reposted it, and it says it is an engineered death spiral. I now, let me I show can. you another posting that you put up on your professional May LinkedIn account. May I it's, respond? If there is an You can respond inquiry, when, I'm done, when I'm done with my question. Or the ma'am, demolition of the United States this of America. Ma'am, this is another posting from your professional LinkedIn account. This says, announcing. Michigan Telethon to raise funds for 16 alternate electors who crooked Dana Nessel wants to jail. Now, ma'am, that's your professional LinkedIn account, right? It is. Now, let me turn to you, Mr. Turley. Professor Turley, in 2006, you wrote an op-ed in The Guardian entitled, quote, Stop Persecuting Polygamists. There, you liken polygamists to, quote, persecuted minorities and you said polygamy is, quote, a practice with deep and good faith religious meaning. Isn't that what you said? I represented the sister wives uh, a family in challenging a, a polygamy prosecution. The answer is yes. You've been crusading for legalizing polygamy for years. In fact, in an op-ed in the USA Today, you said that a Utah polygamist named Tom Green who was also convicted of pedophilia for raping his 13-year-old stepdaughter, should not have been charged with polygamy. Now, Mr. Chairman, can we're I respond, counting... Sir, we're that's not, can I respond? Because that's not entirely accurate. I actually criticized him. What I was dealing with was the constitutionality of what is called morals legislation. And I admit I'm pretty libertarian. Was Tom Green convicted of pedophilia and rape? Government can was he convicted of pedophilia and rape? The answer is yes. Mr. Chairman... Mr. Chairman, we're counting down the hours until a government shutdown, and here we have a hearing where one, we have one witness who defended a polygamist who was convicted of pedophilia and rape, and we have another witness uh, with, with LinkedIn accounts with extreme views posted. I think that, unfortunately, this speaks to the credibility of 
the witnesses and the credibility of this impeachment inquiry. I yield back. Point